Hi, I'm uh, Bjorn, um, the founder and uh, CEO of Ella Food Packaging. And we're going to show you today how you can save a lot of money um, with packaging and being sustainable. Sustainability is such a uh, huge topic uh, today and we need to um, improve our packaging for, for our restaurants um, in terms of sustainability. And while doing this, we, we all find that the uh, packaging gets more expensive and it costs us a lot of money in order to make it more sustainable. So the big question is how we can create a packaging which is better um, fast in operating and even more sustainable um, as we thought before. So for this uh, I, I just brought an example of, um, of a very lovely box we, we are producing and uh, selling to you which, which is a typical um, a clamshell but a beautiful clamshell. So if you're using clamshells today um, for example this big one has a weight of 22 grams um, which is needed as resources in, in fibers uh, to, to build this packaging. As an alternative, uh, you can use just a, a wrapping paper, which could look like this, maybe a little bit bigger for that big burger, but this is about six grams. So in order to reduce um, packaging waste, you could just move from this one to a, to a good, nice um, wrapping paper, which is probably a, a good solution. Maybe there's something in between, and uh, the question is why, why we are telling you, you all, all this, this stuff um, for LF food packaging, since we're producing now for many years um, packaging and also wrapping papers for the, the fast food industry, um, for the biggest uh, fast food restaurants in Europe. Uh, on the one side, uh, we're producing for all the big um, gas stations in Germany and uh, most of the big uh, bakery chains uh, we have in Germany, but also on a, on a European base. Our customers come from Spain, hello Spain, uh, going to Poland, hello Poland, um, down from Ireland, we have beautiful customers in Ireland, uh, down to Malta and even in Greece and of course in Germany and Switzerland. So lots of beautiful and great customers doing, having all one idea of creating great food and our message is um, to, to deliver a, a packaging which is uh, as great as, as their food and um, in the best case the packaging will enhance the value appearance uh, of uh, of the food. So this is what we do and uh, in terms of uh, sustainability and even um, speed in the restaurants we, we worked uh, for many years now to, to, to make something better in between those two. So out of this um, we created the Quibben and the Quibben looks like this for example, or I just grab just this one, um, or like this. And if you see the quibben from, from a resource point uh, goes down to 7 grams compared to 22 grams here and 6 grams here, maybe 5 to 4 gram if you take the thinnest and most lousiest paper you can get on the market. But with this quibben you still might have a, a high quality appearance of your burger. And the question is, is this also cheaper? Yes, it is much cheaper than this one. Of course, it's more expensive than this one, but compared to a clamshell, you can save a lot of money. But also in operating, it's very, very important to be fast. Three seconds might be well, two to three seconds of this one is good too. So how can we make the Quibben also a, a fast burger packaging? So while going to the kitchen, we first have to start in the warehouse. In the warehouse, usually the warehouse is full, full of uh, food and uh, also full of packaging. And if you see this, this is a beautiful clamshell, which is in a, in a carton box with 250 pieces. So this is 250 pieces and below it's another 250 pieces. So compared to a, a quibben we, we're calling, um, this is 500 pieces. 
So you can imagine what, what that does in your warehouse or even in your kitchen. In the kitchen, it's all about space and room. And as you can see here, we have 125 uh, equipments and we have here 25 clamshells. So as you can see, there's a lot of difference. While creating your burger, it all starts with grabbing the package, which is really fast with the quip and as fast as with, uh, with the paper. And a little bit, it takes a little bit time, more time with the clamshell because you first have to lift it up and then go here. Some of our customers use shelves where they stick like this. This is also fast, but you need a big, big hand to do it. So clamshell is good. But we think uh, with the wrapping paper and the equipment, you're in this part of the procedure a little bit faster. In creating a burger, uh, some people do it this way around, upside down, and some customers the other way around. So it actually doesn't really make a difference. You, you can uh, do it both ways. So let's start create a burger. We, we do a little bit of mayonnaise, um, let's say 20 grams. Um, Put some salad on there and get some uh, tomatoes. Well, I'm not the fastest cook, but um, still it works. And I uh, grab a uh, piece of meat like this. Probably get some cheese, a little bit of ketchup. This is good for, a, for an average good big burger. Um, clap it down. So if you have your burger, you can really very fast slip it in the pocket, fold it over and just go over the edge of your table and it's all done. So this is really fast. We guess that um, if you practice it more than I did, um, you will be safe under three seconds. And at the end, um, this will work out uh, in the slide. Some customers use uh, this slide. It works out quite well. We tested it. So Kai, do you want to have another burger? Oh, yes, yes. Burger made by your chef. I wouldn't be sure if that would be a good idea. So let's start with some mayonnaise, 20 grams, and put some salad on, two tomato rings. Grab a meat, piece of cheese, some ketchup, and then flap it over. So slide it in, pull it over, and that's it. So what did we do? We took a paper which is very grease proof, which is thin, which is very good in operating because it's thin. And this paper comes from Europe out of sustainable sources. So we're pretty sure that the trees which are cut to produce this paper are will be uh, planted again and again and again. So this is a circular um, wood source. Let's, let's put it this way. We added a gusset here, which gives you room for the burger and defines the position of the burger very well. But we also added a gusset on this side, which helps you flapping um, the belt or the ribbon, whatever you call it, over and position it right in the middle of your burger so it won't be to left and to right even if you have a big burger or a small burger probably all kinds of burger you can fit in one size of packaging and what we did is uh, we're using a, a little bit thicker paper for the ribbon we have a version where we used on the outside grass paper we really suggest to use the grass paper maybe if you have a a very good uh, vegetarian burger or something like that or even a, a vegan burger. What we are not doing is using a paper with a PE coating on it. PE coating is very hard to recycle so you could make energy out of it if you burn it of course yeah but to use the fiber the valuable fiber of, of the tree um, it's not a good idea to put a PE coating on it. So what did we achieve for you as our customer? First we reduced the weight of the packaging compared to a clamshell from 22 to about 7 grams. This is a saving in natural sources of about 60%. Pricing. Compared to a clamshell, the price advantage of this equipment is about 30%. That's a lot. 
and this is a sustainable solution. So with this savings, you can invest this money in other sustainable solutions, reducing plastic, for example, or just uh, increase the profits, uh, which are due to COVID-19 in this year, um, certainly, uh, well, a problem for everyone. But for the kitchen people also, we, we created a packaging which is as fast as a wrapping paper. We, we always think it's even faster than a wrapping paper. It's as fast as a clamshell, faster than a wrapping paper. So your operating people will completely love it. And think on the storage situation. This is just so small and so handy compared to the big boxes. The Quibben is on the market for many years now. We just improved it a little bit and today we have the best Quibben solution ever. What's about the customer experience? The customer who gets this burger, the customer who takes this burger out, um, usually the takeaway percentage is from at least 20% to, yeah, let's say 60, 80%. In average, I would say it's 40 to 50% depending on the restaurant and the location. So people do takeaway. And not just as they do takeaway, they do away eating. We don't never see people eating outside of the restaurant because we are inside. So what we need to do first, we need to create an isolation um, part in here. So due to the many layers of paper we have here and here, the burger will stay really long, hot and warm and nice and juicy. This is the first very important thing. The second important thing is how to eat it. You know, from a clamshell, you see the burger, it's nice, but to eat it in the restaurant, that's fine. You have, a, uh, you have restrooms, you can wash your hands uh, before and after. But if you're on the road and the bus stop in your office, um, at the beach, wherever you are and eating a burger, you don't always have uh, a, a toilet there to, to clean your hands. So with the Quibben, the customer experience, not just from the beautiful um, view, but from an eating perspective, is just gorgeous. So if you open it up, see the burger, you have this pocket here where you can grab the burger, all the sauce, if something drops out, will be um, hidden in here and you can eat the burger. Some customers take the burger out because they say, I want to eat my burger um, like I'm used to it. You can just put it on your legs and have a, uh, yeah, something to protect your, your clothes. So whatever you do, uh, this packaging goes well to eat wherever you are and gives you a great eating experience. And this is what the customers remember. And they say, this burger was so tasty, it was so good, and the packaging worked fine for takeaway. So I'll be back and, and use this burger for takeaway. So we would be happy if you contact us, get in touch with you. We offer this packaging in small quantities in a custom design. We have, about, we have four custom designs we can offer you, but for your own design, and this will be probably the, the usual way, uh, starting from 200,000 pieces, we can print your own design and serve you such a great packaging. And we would be really happy if you contact us and uh, if we could do something for you. Oh, 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 and by the way, I almost forgot we're producing wrapping paper, beautiful printed grass paper, grease proof, every kind of wrapping paper you need. Millions a year. If you need some, ask us. Thank you and goodbye.